How to clean your child's trach stoma and change the ties. You should clean your child's trach stoma at least once a day and as needed to keep it clean and dry. The Velcro trach ties hold the trach in place and should be changed at least once a day or if they are wet or dirty. If moisture or drainage sits on the skin around the trach tube or the neck, it will cause skin irritation or an infection, such as a yeast or bacterial infection. You should have someone else that has been trained to help you hold the trach in place when you are doing stoma care and changing trach ties. Gather the following supplies. Small towel or blanket if you have a small child, Velcro trach ties, scissors, saline wipes if you have them, or cotton swabs, a washcloth, distilled water, and a dressing if recommended by your child's healthcare team. Wash your hands using soap and water for at least 15 seconds or use hand sanitizer. If your child is small, place a small towel or blanket rolled up under their shoulders to help you see their neck and trach site. While your helper holds your child's trach tube in place, remove the old trach ties. Take off the old dressing around the trach stoma. Check the old dressing for drainage. A small amount of drainage is normal. This can be clear, yellow, or brown. Using a saline wipe, clean around your child's trach stoma, starting at the stoma and working your way out. Now, using the same saline wipe or a washcloth with mild soap and water, clean all the way around your child's neck. While cleaning, check your child's trach stoma and neck for redness, skin irritation, and open cuts. You should also check the trach stoma for a granuloma, which can look like shiny, extra skin. If you notice any of these things, be sure to tell your child's nurse or doctor. After cleaning, pat the skin dry around the neck and trach stoma. Gently slide a new dressing under the trach wings around the trach stoma. If your doctor has prescribed a powder, put it directly on your child's skin around the neck. Do not put powder anywhere near the stoma. Thread the thin Velcro tab of the new trach ties through the wing of the trach tube. Fold it back onto the cloth part of the tie and fasten it securely. Repeat the same steps on the other side of the trach tube. Now, while your partner continues securely holding the trach in place, sit your child up. Bring the two ends of the ties together at the back of your child's neck and measure length. Then, trim excess fabric away from the child's neck. Then securely fasten the ties. It is important to check that the ties are tight and secure. To do this, make sure only one finger can fit between the ties and your child's neck. If you have any questions, talk to a member of your child's care team. Thank you.